Oh, your prayers have been answered. The divine masculine is going to start going through a reversal process of this whole journey. And all of the things that they've been doing to like hurt your feelings, now they are going to start experiencing. It's like nothing that the universe has ever seen before. So there are going to be like a ton of dudes that, you know, maybe they're going to start like collecting cats. Uh, they're going to be like watching an unnecessary amount of rom-coms and just like, you know, totally laying on, you know, covered in blankets and like sobbing uh, with the lights clo with the lights down and lights off and and just you know like looking on the internet for all of these like poems and pictures of butterflies it's going to be a total 180 you know you're going to start to experience like a lot of scratching your privates and manly type of stuff maybe growing hair in places that you may not have hair at the moment and you know this is like uh part of the divine plan where it's it's like one of those trading places movies to really uh get that perspective of what the other person is going through throughout this journey and and so you're going to experience that I don't give a shit attitude and, and they're just going to be like an absolute mess, just like bawling their eyes out in their court of Ben and Jerry's. It's going to be quite a, quite a scene, right? Like they have no, the, the funny thing about it is, is that they really are going to be totally caught off guard by this because they're not, you know, they're not watching these videos most likely, right? They're like off with their friends, like picking up chicks and, and getting wasted and, and, uh, you know, doing whatever. They don't, they're not paying any attention to what's going on in, in this, in this life for their, on this journey at all. You know, it's not, it's not registering. So, once this hits them, they're going to be like, what in, you know, they might pick up like, uh, macro may or something like that. Like real, like this could get super, super deep on how much this role reversal is coming. And it's like, you know, that nine, nine, nine portal. That's just bringing all of this, uh, sensitivity is what it is. It's bringing like a lot of sensitivity to the divine masculine and you know it's, they definitely need it because you know they they have no feelings and they they like never like feel anything they don't know what what uh like love is and they don't they don't really know how to get in tune with themselves and uh, you know they've never like experienced uh something that that's beautiful and then just had a good cry and and let it you know just let it out in a in a loving way they never this never happened to to any other you know person on this earth like that they they're just so closed off and shut down that it's uh it's about time that they got some some a taste of their own medicine right like it's about time that you got some revenge on these assholes that's kind of that's kind of where we're going right like oh it would be it would be super duper if if they started if they were able to feel like some of the things that some of these divine feminines are feeling all these upsets and and anger and all that stuff and we you know that's like total unconditional love is to be able to share all that pain and that hurt with you know just here here you go i want you to have this because i love you i want you to have that makes me so happy for you to like 
be in so much pain and anguish. Now you know what I've been going through. Oh, what a what an amazing like isn't that perfect that the universe is going to like just like let them have it, give them the old knockout punch and then they're just going to come running and once you know the, the once they stop start watching like Oprah and Dr. Oz or whatever, they're really going to get in touch with their feelings and they're totally going to come come running right straight into union because now they know, right? Now they know? Or, or is it that unconditional love is unconditionally loving yourself? And not placing those conditions on, on that, you know, what that you want them to feel what you feel because they already do. They already feel those that all of that pain that you feel. They're just dealing with it in a different manner. They already feel all that upset. This isn't just about you having something that you want. This is about both of you having something that you both want and you both want to be together. A lot gets said that your uh, you the onus is on you that um, you're doing all this work that um, you know they're not doing anything yada 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 you know you you hear people say it uh, over and over and over again. However, don't you think that they love you and they want to be with you and they're doing everything that they can to to get back in, into your life? I mean, it may not appear that way on the outside of things, but don't you think internally they're doing everything they can to get back to themselves and get back to you? Because that's the choice that you made, so that's the choice that you made together. You're not separate. When you make that choice and when you work toward that goal, of being in union with yourself, with your twin, with God, they make that same core choice. And whether they realize it or not, they are working on themselves internally to get there. They want it just as bad as you. Right? To, that, that's pretty powerful to, to understand and let that resonate inside of you is that they want this just as bad as you. They love you just as much as you love them. It's all in the matter of, you know, healing those blocks and unveiling that so that you can see that that's the truth. You can see that truth. That's a funny thing about the truth. It's not, you know, your truth or their truth. The truth is the truth. It does not change from anyone's perspective. Real truth will always be true. It can never be changed by anything. And the truth is you were created with one another and you love each other unconditionally and you want to be together. That's the absolute truth. Don't beat yourself up that you're doing everything and they're doing nothing because that's not true. Right? Give yourself some slack. Give them some slack. Love unconditionally. Love them no matter what. Don't place any condition on giving them your love, giving your, them your undivided love. And don't place any condition on yourself, giving yourself your, your undivided love. So visit asoneguidance.com. Uh, you know, sign up for a free 15-minute consultation. Uh, I can help you week to week, walk you through all of your upsets and you know, step by step into union. 
Uh, also, leave a comment down below and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you next time. Take care.